All right, part two. Okay? Now, if there's things your man does, like for the most part, men aren't always the best talkers. We aren't always the most emotional. It varies. Everybody's different. I know. But for the most part, women are, are a little more into talking than men are. Okay? Something like, statistically speaking, by the time a woman comes home from work, she still has... Oh, a man is going to speak 1,000 words after he gets home. And a woman is going to speak somewhere between 10 and 15,000 words when she gets home. It's just, I don't know, how we are, how we're wired. So, you can help cultivate this. You can help cultivate these lines of communication. Because, as you know, without communication, you don't have anything. You can do this by listening to the fact that, pay more attention to his actions. Pay more attention to what he does. You know, oftentimes guys don't want to say that they love you. And you know, I tell you I love you all the time. Hey, I love you. Look me in the eye. I'm looking at you. I love you. Okay? <laughs> Most guys can't do that. I don't know why they can't do that. Because it doesn't cost you anything. But it's just a strange thing. We can't do it. Okay? So, if he does things to show you that he loves you, acknowledge the fact that you know it's like, okay, honey, I understand that you brought me my favorite ice cream. And I understand that you did that to show me that you love me. And I appreciate that. But just sometimes I need to hear it. You know, sometimes I need a hug. Sometimes I need a kiss. Okay? Just, just, I'm not giving you a guilt trip. It's just, I need that sometimes. Okay? He will respect that. Okay? He will. We, we have to be trained. We have to be trained just like dogs have to be trained. Okay? But the best way to train is through compassion, through gentleness, through positive reinforcement. Show him what he's doing right, and maybe he gets a little bit of something else uh, out of the deal. You cook his favorite meal. You know what I'm talking about. So, find ways to give positive reinforcement to things. Okay? Now... If there's a guy who that you want to get involved with, you're trying to get his attention, and you don't quite know how to get his attention, same thing, like I said before. Be a positive draw for him, okay? If there's a guy that you want to show you more attention, and you know for a fact that he's a big, I don't know, Metallica fan, then email him a cool video clip that you found about Metallica on the internet. Or if he's a golf fan, show him some neat article about, you know, Vijay, Vijay Singh and him, the way he's training for the PGA Tour. Okay? Just little things. Little things to show that you're trying to relate to him and get into his world. Okay? You can do that, and it's a fantastic thing. And it will get you a long, long way. Okay? You know, learn how to flirt. Flirting is a very, very useful, very useful skill. Okay? And I have to say, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> it's just a fun, playful exchange between people, okay? Just like you like feeling special, guys like feeling special. The way to make us feel special is to make us feel strong. Make us feel accomplished, right? Walk up to the guy, just touch him on the arm and be like, Ooh, you've been working out? It doesn't matter if his arm is just like, the you know, this big around, like a string bean. You will see his chest puff up. He'll just stand a little bit straighter when he's like, well, I mean, yeah, I've been working out a little. Even if he has it, he's going to say he has. <laughs> okay? <laughs> All right? Just little things like that. Okay? Or if, you know, he gives a speech or he did something or had a project in school, just be like, hey, you know, I, I saw your project. That was fantastic. Or... If you're both working on homework, be like, hey, have you done, you know, the, the Shakespeare paper yet? And he's like, well, yes or no. And you can say, wow, you know, it's amazing to me how smart you are. I can't figure that stuff out. Maybe you can help me sometime. See, now you're building up his ego. Now you're building him up. And I mean his positive ego, his positive self-image. That's who you want to speak to, okay? You want to make him feel better about him, so remember I've said this again and again. The way to get people to like you is for you to get them to like them. The more they like themselves, the more they will like you, okay? So, I really feel the need to reiterate. You cannot guilt, nag, or argue a man into doing what you want him to do. He will obey in the short term, but it will cost you in the long term, okay? Now, something else. Don't get too upset if you see your man look at another woman. I know it's the truth. 
Because here's the thing. He still has eyes, okay? He cannot help it. He cannot help it. I'm telling you, you know me. I'm Mr. Spiritual. I'm Mr. I love you. I'm Mr. I understand how you feel. Men have a biological drive to sleep with a lot of women. We do. We cannot turn it off. We can't, okay? Now, here's the thing. We don't have to give in to that drive. I've never cheated on any woman ever. Any woman I've ever been with. So if you're one of my exes, if anything, no matter why we broke up, I was faithful to you. But it does not go away. Ever. It does not mean we don't love you. It does not mean we don't love you. It's how we're programmed. We cannot help it, okay? If a woman walks by, we are going to notice, okay? If she's hot, we are going to notice she's hot. We can't help it. It does not mean anything about you. It does not mean we don't love you. It does not mean you are not hot, okay? So, don't take it to mean that. Don't take it if, if, you, if you and I are out together, you and I are hanging out, and a woman walks by and I go, wow, she's really pretty. You don't have to interpret that as she's prettier than you, okay? Pending the level of dialogue we're on, if I'm looking, I'm like, wow, she's got a really nice body. You don't have to take that to mean her body is better than yours. It doesn't. It's just an observation. It's just an observation. And it's an observation that we cannot control, okay? Now, if you're out with your man, and he looks at this woman, and he's like, then yes, maybe you need to hit him in the arm. Because he needs to be subtle about it. You know, I'm like, come on, there's a there's there's a way to present yourself, okay? That I'll talk to the fellas about next <laughs> next episode, all right? But just the fact that he is looking does not mean anything is lacking with you, okay? And here's another thing. You have to understand what kind of guy you have the capacity to be with. Because not every guy is fit for every woman, and not every relationship is going to last, okay? If you are, I hate to say it, rather insecure. And you can't stand the idea of him having female friends, or maybe you have difficulties trusting, then you can't really be with an outgoing extroverted person. You can't really be with somebody like me. I literally got hundreds, actually I've got thousands of female friends that I talk to all the time, that I talk to about like intricate, heartfelt stuff. I don't have any secrets. I'm an exhibitionist. You know, I got female friends that I talk to on the phone. In fact, when Charlene and I got married, I sat down with her, and I recommend you do this, by the way. I sat down with her, and I said, look, there's three things about me that will never change. That will never change. And you need to understand this if you're going to be with me, and we're going to have a serious relationship. One, I train in the martial arts. I train a lot, like 20, 30 hours a week, okay? That's never going to change. If we get married, if we have kids, I might cut back, but I will never stop training. Okay? Understand that. Second thing, I have a pretty alternative spiritual path. I think you hear all the things I quote. I read a lot of different spiritual stuff. I know a lot about a different, lots of different religions. If that's the type of thing that threatens you, I'm not the guy for you. And third, I have a lot of female friends, and they are real friends of mine. The fact that they've got ovaries does not mean that we don't have a real and meaningful connection. And I'm always going to have my female friends. So you can't say, just because we get together, i got to start to phase them out. Okay? Can you understand this? Do you accept this? And she agreed. And I have to say, over the years that have passed, she's attempted to renegotiate those terms <laughs> more than once. But the thing is, hey, that's what it takes to be with me. So you got to know what it takes to be with you. You got to know what it takes to be with him. Okay? Now, I've been all over the place and I'm running out of time. All right? But if I can tell you anything, whatever you think is up, whatever's going on in his head, all right, the simplest solution is almost certainly the accurate one. Okay? Now, trust your gut. If it absolutely smells like a rat, it might be. You know, keep your eyes open. Don't use your paranoia, but just check and see what's there. Talk to him. Big him up. Make him feel better about himself. Make him feel strong. Make him feel accomplished. Make him feel like you're proud of him. Make him feel like you know that he protects and provides for you and that you love him for it. Do that, and he will do anything for you. I promise. Now, fellas, if you watched all this, again, I'm sorry, but I'm going to shoot the episode on women right now. For everybody else, you'll have to wait and see it in a couple of days. Find me, Facebook, Twitter, MySpace. I love you. Okay, bye-bye.